And Hamid's work uh, represents uh, a sort of culmination of stitching together of traditions and aesthetics based on a variety of symbolic representation. And it articulates uh, the piecing together of symbols that transcend time and geography and convey meaning that represents Africa and all of its implications. He is an interpreter uh, from the Tuareg to the Berbers to other African and North African traditions. Uh, as an ambassador of my culture overseas, all I want um, people to, under, to know that Morocco is not just uh, a mid, like a Middle Eastern country. That's what people got more most of the time. So Morocco is a North African country. is a mixture. is a melting pot of different cultures of Arabs, Jews, Berber. So that's what I want people to understand. And uh, my mom was a great weaver. Uh, I grew up with her weaving very beautiful Berber rugs. So if you look at uh, my art, you will see a lot of uh, textile influences, fabric influences, and symbols from uh, Amazigh culture. Uh, so this one is called Asfru. Asfru in Berber means a, a poem. If you look at it, it looks like a book. So it's, for me, I represent, there's a word in, even in Berber called Tiwan. T1 is made like stitching. If we see someone is good in, in, in making T1, like he's a good poet. So I symbolize the poetry in terms of stitch word, and you can see some of some knots and some. Yeah, it's not a textual poetry, but exactly. But you can see the stitching, and I want to work on that, and that word T1 or knots. So if if someone is good in telling poems in Berber, it's like someone who is tying knots. Where I come from? I come from south southeastern Morocco. So the texture, the, the landscape is brown, is, is, uh, and that's why I like earthy colors. So it's just some kind of haunted with this color. I cannot get rid of it. We are the people you know, of the land. We have our philosophy of life. It's grounded with, with, with the earth, with the land where we grow up and we come from. Uh, first I met him and he was doing uh, painting. Then uh, I kept uh, thinking about how he could be shown, but at the same time, I needed to have uh, something that was a little more art. He had to build more art into the work that he was doing. And eventually he got around to incorporating texture into his work. Uh, and he mentioned to me that it was all about the uh, Berber people and in the sense of the weaving. And with the weaving, uh, then it all automatically it came into a whole new thing where we enjoy uh, the work that he's uh, showing and that he's producing now. Because I had seen some this summer, like Pueblo cultures, and when you look at some of the etchings that they have done yeah. 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 And I mean, a lot of people ask me, are you, are you native, is your art Native American? Yeah. So sure. it's the same uh, affinities, it's like coming kind of native too, but native North African. But there's a symbol, like this symbol is very universal. Yes. This is the letter Z in Berber, in Berber alphabet, that's the letter Z. But if you go, you can find it in, Ch in Chinese language, it's, it means a tree. In ancient Greek, it ha they have the same symbol. Uh, there is a mask in Mali that has the same shape that they wear for the funerals, the same, the same shape of, of, of the letter Z. So, so yeah, some symbols are, are very universal. Some, yeah. I, I want it to be typical, I want it, I want it to be. But also, when it's not just typical, but also sharing with, 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 sharing with people, you know? Yes. I want the viewer to find each one, to find a piece of him or her mm -hmm. in one of my art, yeah. So do you exhibit a lot in Morocco? I did, yeah. yeah. I did. Moved to the States permanently now? Or oh, yes. just, yeah, 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 I'm a permanent resident. Yeah. I've been living here since 2000. Uh -huh. so I went to grad school then, yeah. yeah. That's a wonderful Thank you. Oh, yeah.